How many moles are in 27 grams of H2O? Well, I, if we assume we're talking about moles of molecules here, like H2O chunks, then it's as easy as dividing by the molar mass of the compound. The formula that I'm talking about is number of moles equals mass divided by molar mass. You were given m, little m, grams, mass, but you don't yet have capital M, which is the molar mass of the compound. We are being asked for the number of moles, little m. How do you find the molar mass of a compound? Well, that's as easy as adding up the atomic masses from the periodic table. H2O is two of these things, H's, so that's two 1.008s, and we are going to add on an O. O is 15.999. Use whatever numbers are on the periodic table you have in front of you. Some of them round this to 16. Some of them have a couple more decimal places. I'm just using what I got. So now we got to do that on the calculator. That's 2 times 1.008 plus the 15.999. Bam. I get 18.015, and that's in grams per mole. I just want to point out three decimal places being added to something else with three decimal places should give you three decimal places of precision. Great. Now, the way you calculate number of moles is dividing the grams by molar mass. My mass is 27.0 grams, and my molar mass is 18.015, and the units there are grams per mole by definition. Did I mention that earlier? So I'm going to do 27 divided by that answer. I end up with 1.49875 ish. Now that's in actual moles, it's little n after all. And I've done the division. I just need to worry about significant figures. This number has five significant figures in it one, two, three, four, five. This number only has three, so I need to round my final answer to three significant figures. There's number one, there's number two, there's number three. So I need to look at the next number. It's bigger than five, so I'm rounding this up. Now actually, that's a nine, so when I round it up, I gotta carry an extra one over. That means my final answer is 1.50. See how four nine became five zero? Because that's the way rounding works. And, uh, oh, that's actually it, 1.50 moles. Three significant figures here. And you got moles from grams by dividing by molar mass. It's a little more work than it sounds like because you have to calculate the molar mass yourself to start with. But hey, here we are together solving problems. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.